Carib has grown significantly over the years. When it first started in 1950s, we produced about 10,000 hectoliters of beer. Today, with major expansions that have been taken over the years, we are producing in excess of a million hectoliters of beer per annum. Carib Brewery is a, is a company that brews and bottles beverages, both malt-based and soft drinks. There's Carib Brewery CDC here in Trinidad, and then we have Grenada Breweries Limited, which operates in Grenada, and Carib Brewery St. Kitts and Nevis Limited, which operates in St. Kitts. We have a very wide portfolio in Carib Brewery. We have a beer category, we have a malt category, we have a stout category, we have a non-alcoholic or what we call soft drink brands. Over the years, we have built our brand portfolios with um, the introductions of brands like Shandy Carrot, Malta Carrot, uh, Royal Extra Stout. We, we produce under license such brands like Smirnoff Ice, Guinness Stout. We handle the sales and distribution of Heineken which will be soon be produced locally. About 25 years ago, Caribbean Development Company bought National Brewing Company, and that's when the Stag brand joined our family of brands here. We dominate the markets in all our category. Competition for us, um, it's just part of the landscape. Each brand has a team responsible for the sales and marketing of the brand wherever it is sold. Each brand manager is responsible for delivering the annual objectives of the brand and as such implements programs to ensure all brands grow year on year. Each brand has its own positioning, each brand is built with its own DNA and each brand has its own consumer target audience. We are very passionate about quality regardless of where you meet our brands a carib is a carib is a carib, no matter where you go. The overall brewing facility at Carib, it consists of brewing and bottling operations, engineering and quality operations. That's the heart of the manufacturing process. The brewing process is a very in-depth process. The main ingredient in the process is malted barley. Uh, apart from malted barley, the main raw materials are sourced from different parts of the world. Um, the other main ingredients would be sugar, which we no longer grow in Trinidad, uh, corn syrup, uh, various brewing syrup. You take that raw material into the brew house where you have brew house operations, which would then produce a brew, or we call it wood. Into that wood, we will then add yeast, which goes through into the fermentation process. After fermentation, it's followed by maturation and filtration. After filtration, that product is put into bottling tanks where you have the bottling operations. And that product is bottled, pasteurized, labeled, and put into crates in our warehouse. Products here at Carib Brewery have individual recipes and processes. As a consequence, you have differences in raw materials, differences in fermentation process, differences in yeast, and all of that would go together to give each product its unique flavor profile. Quality and consistency of our product and brews is ensured through stringent quality control at all stages of production, from the start to the finish. In addition to that, we also have a highly trained uh, sensory evaluation personnel who would taste the product to ensure that it remains consistent in terms of the style of product that we're making. For a modern brewing plant, it's all about uh, efficient quality management systems and efficient process control. And that is largely responsible for ensuring that everything is done consistently. But notwithstanding that, um, there's an age-old debate about the brewing process in terms of how much of it is art and how much of it is science. And there's always a little bit of art in there. That art is responsible for uh, Caribbean in particular being one of the biggest brands in the Caribbean. And here in Trinidad and Tobago, it's an indigenous product which has had some 60 plus years of brewing tradition in there. And that's the artistic side of brewing.
our distribution arm is our second biggest part of the of the business and of the company. Um, as you would imagine, that requires a lot, a lot of logistics. Um, we do two things when we deliver. We deliver product and we pick up empty cases. We would do in excess of 45, 50,000 cases of product a day um, through a very robust network of over 70, 80 trucks. Um, we have 4,000 clients that we service that depend on the product. Right, without the product, um, they can't run their businesses because Carib pretty much represents, in many cases, above 50% of their retail sales. You can look forward to, in our division, um, a revamp of our distribution area. It's something that we are looking at very, very closely in the beverage sector in Trinidad um, and are delivering a higher quality of service to our clients. There's no limitations to our growth. I think that anything that we could conceive or come up with, this organization can achieve. The world is our oracle. Importation and exportation is important for Caribbean business for a number of reasons. From the importation perspective, we have to have a streamlined process to ensure that we have the raw and packaging materials available to produce the world class products that we have. From an export perspective, it's part of a larger strategic objective. We need to make sure our brands reach consumers all around the world. They get to experience what it is that we have to offer and obviously make sure the communication is in line to meet their expectations as well. We export all the Caribou portfolio of brands to 31 countries around the world. The company has allocated the resources both financially and in terms of structure to achieve the vision that I've set for the export business. There is a focus on Africa. Africa is absolutely exploding in terms of beer consumption and also consumer inquisitiveness into beer. So we are definitely exploring that with the hope of being a player in that market within the next six to nine months. Ultimately, in terms of growth for the division, I would like to see us account for more than 30% of the overall Caribou Limited business. Ideally, I would like to get to 70% within the next three to five years. We've grown in terms of capacity and, and um, capability. We continuously challenge ourselves for new and innovative ways of brewing and bottling products. Consumers are really engaged in innovation. They love new things. They love to feel, they love to see, they love to, to taste new things. Um, and it's, it's a very important initiative for us. Everything that the consumer interacts with and have an experience is a point of innovation for us and a point of grabbing that consumer and keeping that consumer to our brands. Carib is very involved in, in lobbying for our consumers to consume our products in a responsible manner. When you look at our brand advertising for our, let's in particular our beer brands, there are social responsibility messages that go with each one of our campaigns. It's very important that our consumers res consume our products responsibly. That way they can live to consume our products for a very, very long time. Caribbean is immersed within the culture of Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, we support both sport and culture. Uh, when you look at our brands and our brand portfolio, we are involved in everything that is nationalistic to our country. Any event that has people, our brands are there, and when it comes to supporting culture, it is very important that we are part of it. We are Trinidad and Tobago. We're going to take Carib and make it the Bay of the Caribbean wherever Bay is so. When you look at it, the, the entire look and feel of marketing for our brands will evolve. What you're going to see over the coming months is you're going to see several new campaigns, innovative packaging and a lot of consumer activations in the market. We do things in a very unique way here at Carib. We are passionate about what we do. We do it with gusto and our people live and breathe Carib Brewery Limited. In five years, ten years, um, every brand in Carib will be a global brand. We're, we're such a large company and the more you invest, we'll be able to expand, um, maybe touching more consumers. Um, and after all, people would not stop drinking beer. We're surrounded by great people and great teams, so you're really encouraged to do your job and what you have to do and to do even better. It, it really encourages and empowers the employee to think ahead 
and be progressive and think innovative and um, you can accomplish things. Our attention to the manufacturing process is meticulous because we want to have as close as possible the same experience for our consumers whether you're in Trinidad or whether you're in Greece, the France or even Hong Kong with our products. We want to see CARB develop regionally, expand and become a major player in all the regional markets. Internationally, we want to expand and become a global footprint in the next five years. We continue to invest in our plant, in our people, and grow in our business over the long term, which will provide significant returns to our investors. Continue investing. You can look at the results over the years. The company has gone from strength to strength to strength. We've just had our best year as an organization ever. So why not invest? The proof of the pudding is indeed thing. Carib Brewery has been in existence for over 60 years. It produces one of the biggest and most iconic brands in the Caribbean. And much of that is a tribute and testament to our people here in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, to our culture, to our way of life. We are meant to be here for a lifetime. We are here to be consumer driven, we are here to fill the needs, and we are here to grow. Grow both as a company, grow both as part of the Ansem Hagal Group, and to have a strategic direction that takes our shareholders beyond expectations. Our brands are very fashionable, youthful, and of today, just like the people that it represents. And I urge all of our shareholders to be part of the wave and go with us as we conquer the world. <laughs>